Hi, it's Steve with T Quilts, and today is Friday, May 28th, 2021, and I am here at Retreat. and I just thought that I'd give you a recap of what's going on. We came yesterday, we started at 3 p.m. on Thursday, May 27th, and I didn't do any recording yesterday, so sorry about that, but by the time we got in, we had some rain that we had to deal with. We even had to deal with a tornado. <laughs> we have never had to start a retreat with a tornado before, so it was pretty interesting day yesterday and I was kind of tired had a lot you know for us packing and getting to retreat and didn't sleep well the night before so I just decided to not videotape yesterday but I will tell you we had a good time we had a good dinner and we had good camaraderie with the people that were here we even had uh, some other people that were sharing the retreat center with us had three other ladies and they left this morning so we have a total of now we started with seven people yesterday and we now have 10 people at retreat today so let me just tell you what's going on today i'm actually teaching this project behind me and i will start with that this is the pattern that we're actually working on it's the twisted log cabin by eleanor burns and you also need to have the ruler for this if you're doing this technique so I'm gonna first show you what I have on my wall up here for teaching. So up here on the wall, I have my pieces from where I've been teaching. And what happens is you're sewing log cabin blocks where you do light and dark sides. And then you use the ruler to square them up and then it makes the twist. So in this frame here, you're seeing round one of the log cabin and then squared up. And then over here, you now see that squared up piece with additional light and dark going around. And then to the far right, it is squared up. So that's round two. <laughs> and then right here, again, is round three where you sew your logs around, use the ruler, square it up. And you can see the twisting really starting to happen here. And then the fourth and final round, you add your strips on, and then you're actually squaring your block up to 12 inches square. And these are all just two and a half inch strips that they originated from. So here is four of those blocks just put together. That's all I have. I uh, sewed these while I was at home just so I could have them for a teaching board. And then I am actually now in the process of starting to sew my quilt together. Um, I think the project for a retreat we're doing recommended was 24, but I'm doing 36. I think Norma's making hers a little bit bigger as well. So you can make as many blocks or as few blocks as you like. <laughs> That's the nice thing about the project. I'll show you the ruler. I'll put a picture of the ruler up here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and show you my work area right here <laughs> and over here is our press station this is a really nice retreat center uh, we're at itching to be stitching it's a quilt shop in Staunton Illinois and they have a retreat center that's attached to it now this is my steam press I have been working on the t-shirt quilts I got the fronts cut and I put the interfacing on them and they're back in their respective bags. I've cut them to size. So when I get home, all I need to do is pull the coordinating fabrics and I can start working on those. I took advantage of retreat of pulling out my steam press so that 
I wouldn't have to worry about space at home. So I'm glad I brought that. So that's what I did yesterday. Um, the retreat center has long big boards, one for every two stations. They also have uh, plastic chairs that are on wheels, so you can just bring a chair pad if you want. But you all know that I always bring my own chair to retreat. <laughs> so that's that. This is my setup. And then, like I said, they've got uh, design boards. Each workstation has one for each person. But then they also have extra ones added around the room as well. Room's very big. And then they also have a sitting area, seating area, where you can sit here, lounge. They have a bookcase full of book, quilt books and quilting magazines. So very nice. They really take care of all of your needs at retreat. It's really nice. Even got uh, stools if you need to get higher up on your design boards. They have portable fans. They also have heating and cooling systems and it's remote controlled which is sitting there on the wall one of the great things about it is it is a full kitchen plus <laughs> okay so the facility will take up to 12 people and they have two refrigerators they got shelving for you to, if you're bringing and preparing your own food they got shelving for you to put your items on they have three coffee pots and then my friend also brings her own coffee pot um, but they have a coffee pot so you can have regular coffee, decaf, coffee, and then maybe water for hot tea. But they also have a curric where you can also get hot water out of it as well. And they even have some of the coffee here. Very nice. Um, microwave. They have um, crock pots too. I know some of these are some of our staff. Um, they have a stove that has a built-in griddle. And uh, we still brought other ones so that we can cook faster for breakfast. And um, a toaster as well. So, nice um, facility. Bedrooms are nice. It's not community uh, bathrooms. We actually have a bathroom here uh, off the retreat center. I know people are always interested what the bathrooms look like. Very nice bathrooms. Beautiful quilts on the wall. So this is a shared bathroom off the retreat center. And they even provided carts for us to get our items in and out. These carts were really nice. I used this instead of using my rolling totes. It was much, much better. They have cutting stations. They have five of them. Arrow uh, tables with the uh, uh, custom cutting mats. Five. <laughs> Very nice. And then they even added additional ironing surfaces on the end of every two stations. So technically, every station has an ironing uh, area, press station. Let me show you an a, a actual room real quick. Get you some business, Tamara. <laughs> Get you some business. Uh-huh. No, you're okay. You are doing great. This is um, the room I'm sharing with Deborah, And uh, I just thought that I would show you this room, even though we're all in them, because all the rooms are filled, and she's currently cleaning the other ones. But very nice, spacious room. Two bedside tables. And then you have a bath that you're only sharing with your roommate. Now, you can... Make it so that you can get a single room. You're just going to have to pay, <laughs> you know, almost twice as much to attend retreat. But you can get a room that is solo just for yourself if you like. But rooms are very nice. They are twin beds. They have their own quilts. I just put mine on top. I always bring my own quilt because I like uh, my... I just like having something that I made or that's personal to me when I'm at retreats. Make me feel even more at home. 
but the rooms are nice you still got the con you can control your heating system with that remote i talked about earlier got remote right there on the wall <laughs> so yes very nice facility and so now i'm going to take you around and we'll see what people are currently working on <laughs> we got some projects on the design wall you might like as well and she's in the process of cleaning from the um other people that left earlier today <laughs> So this is Miss Deborah. Hello. <laughs> what would you like to share with the tea quilters? <laughs> you got anything you're working on or want to share with us? Uh, swap blocks. <laughs> that's a UFO project I'm going to make sashing for today. Okay. Is this the fabric there you're yeah, going to be using? Yeah, that's my sashing fabric. That's pretty cool. Let's let them get a good look. I forgot what this is called. Um. I've got a lot, used this a lot. They used to call it fairy frost. Fairy frost, that's but it. I'm not sure if that's the actual but fairy it's a, frost. But it's a, it's a, something it, like I, it. I think it is. It might be. It might be fairy frost. You think it's that. a, you think it's a knockoff. It, it could be. <laughs> I don't really know. That's it not, don't have anything on the salvage, uh -uh. so it might be a knockoff. Because fairy frost should have something right. on the salvage, and but I that's do, what it yeah. looks like. I like it, though. It's pretty. Pincushion picked out to a uh, Deborah's her pincushion. Showing her. Another pincushion. Oh, this fabric here is yeah. picked out for a pincushion. For another pincushion. For the um, Laura Birch fabrics there. Yep. Pretty cool. Well, thank you, ma'am. You're, You're so kind. <laughs> Norma must be on a... Oh, Norma's doing in charge of lunch so she might be doing something with that this is jennifer she loves to fondle fabric <laughs> <laughs> she just purchased this kit from the quilt shop and you might be interested the pattern is a paper piece pattern it was 55 it's called infinity and um She's already got it open, looking at and making notes already. <laughs> She's ready to go. <laughs> and this will be done. She's uh, dedicated to it. It'll be done before you know it. So <laughs> it'll take a while, but it's going to get done. Get done. Very nice. And these are also Jennifer's blocks here. And I just want to go up and show you a couple of the applique. They're all different. They're Jacobean style appliques in a four inch finish square. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful handwork, though. So, I'll just show you a few of them. But, and this is Miss Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Angie. How are you? <laughs> Doing good. And what are you working on today? I they am, like to see projects. Okay, I am working on the spiral. Oh wow, it looks like you're intricate too. Oh my goodness, that is just gorge. Thank you. My colors are different, obviously. Wow. But, and I wouldn't have been able to do it if it hadn't. Jane's been helping me. Mm -hmm. She's a good, but she's a I've good friend trying. and a good helper. Yes, she is. <laughs> and right now, what I'm doing, I'm cutting um, all of my, getting my strips organized. Mm -hmm for my groupings okay. so I can sew these together. Okay. And they're all ex they're all layered. So you start with like one, two, three, four, and then you do two, three, four, five, okay. and so on down the line. And right now I'm doing five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's gonna be gorgeous. I love your fabrics. Thank and you. And have they converted you over to being a batik person only? Yeah, well, I do, <laughs> I like my batiks. Mm -hmm. Listen to Jane giggling over there. Uh -huh. um, I'm going yeah, to them. I've got, I've, got, I've got two bags of batik scraps that I got out, bought out of the bin that I brought with me. Okay. Because I'm going to work on another project if I get bored with this. Okay. But right. that's pretty cool. Yeah. She's saying all of these are batik she bought from a scrap <laughs> yeah. bin at the one of the quilt shops here yeah. in St. Louis. They are batik plus, yes, right? batik plus. Okay, yes. just let them know. We got them. We got some good quilt shops here. <laughs> Hey, Miss Becky, you want to share your project? Sure. Uh, <laughs> Becky spreads out. She's just like me. I love her. <laughs> well, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to organize out the Okay. I threw everything in a bag to bring it here, so I had to sort it back out again. Okay. Uh, and then, I'm working on wow, it's just the getting scrap bigger. project uh, from two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and she's done many of these. She even yes. did one of these 
as a donation when I did the uh, charity quilts. I've already donated in December, I donated to Annie Malone Children's Home for Christmas gifts for and the kids. This one's going to be mine. Uh, I've made. Wow, you're going to keep a quilt? Yes, this is mine. <laughs> and this, I just kept back while I made all of my other two and a half mm -hmm. square projects. I kept back some of my favorite squares and pieces. You got one right there. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay, okay I'll get. Oh, I it just fell off the wall. Okay. Oh, okay. Because uh, this thing sticks really long, so it's. Okay, but it's clean, gorgeous. Clean and Let me this, go up so they can the see your blue fabric. The go every which way. Uh, the background is Laurel Birch uh, swirls. And there's pieces from members of the Quilt Guild that have passed that I've inherited pieces of their fabric, things that were gifts from other quilters and friends. And Becky, for, she makes scrap quilts, but she really works at her scrap quilts. She wants to put particular things in them. Is this a charm by no, any chance? Because sometimes she makes them in their charms yeah. too, but she, she most definitely pays attention to what she's putting in her scrap quilts. She don't just sew anything in. <laughs> yeah, no, so. This one's got like. In, in, in some scrap quilts, no. I sew anything in sometimes. So <laughs> she she's like, I like such and such. I want this in my quilt. <laughs> and, she, and she'll yeah. even go to spoon flower and have it made to put them into her quilts yeah, too. Some of the ones I just got here. Um, I've got Wicked and Jurassic Park that I got. Mm -hmm. Too. Wow. Cause so yeah, I've had more than one friend ask for a musical themed thing in their scraps, so I've been collecting nice. them. And that's bone flower back there too. Uh huh. This is notable women of the world, and I'm really trying to, as I make quilts for little girls, to have inspiring women in there. So that's cute. That everyone from Amelia Earhart to RBG to Kamala Harris, and. Princess Diana and Rosa hmm. Parks is here somewhere, and Amanda Gorman. Wow. Because this is a brand new fabric. That's nice. Very nice. Well, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, Cynthia is over there. We'll come back to her. <laughs> this is her workstation. And she's working on the project, um, the log cabin, the twisted log cabin. This is Miss Sarah. She's also working on the Twisted Log Cabin. Yes, Just like them to see how we, what we bring and what we look like. Because <laughs> people, yeah. some people have never been to a retreat before and they need to know, you know, get ready to look like you're never coming back home. <laughs> it does. Every time I would leave, Thomas used to ask, are you coming back? <laughs> so your color theme is mostly bright? Or are you keeping them in these colors or? Yeah, they be all okay. these different colors. Just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This is going to be and beautiful. Lights. Did you start with a jelly roll or did you cut strips yourself? They were gel it was a jelly roll. I okay. don't know where I got it from. It's beautiful. Yeah. Love the colors. Yeah. Nice. And then your lights you're cutting from your own scraps, right. correct? Right, it's all my own scraps. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you, ma'am. This already cut right here. All right. The sizes. Now, Sharon just came to retreat this morning so she's getting situated as well but she's already gotten started she's got machine on making blocks <laughs> so oh and she's got more on the table over there we'll go look at them they're different types of butterflies <laughs> so very nice and she's another one that converted to uh, boutiques only and I was the l lucky recipient of purchasing some of her fabric bags that were wonderful and I even, Bonita Nance, if you're watching this, you purchased from me for Sharon, through Sharon. I got some, that I remember I got some more of your bags, and I took them to the scrap club. You weren't even there that day. <laughs> but I sold them to her via uh, Messenger. We FaceTimed each other. <laughs> So we had your bags. You had really nice bags to really get rid of stuff. And she's got other projects in there she might work on a little bit. So we're going to save those. <laughs> this is a beautiful fabric here. This is your setting. It's the setting. Oh, oh, your sashing. Okay. Very nice. Gorgeous. This is all Cynthia does. <laughs> 
she just happened to be on the phone when I came, but she has been cutting strips for the Twisted Log Cabin. Yes. I actually taught her, gave her and her mom some instructions last night. Norma's also working on it, but she started at home, so she's a little bit more advanced. But they're just getting started, so they're cutting their strips. Yep. And then let's go see Sharon's butterflies before I talk to Miss Jane. <laughs> And I'm on the opposite side of the table, of course, but we know what butterflies look like. <laughs> and that sashing is beautiful in there as well. All right, ooh, we'll just go to this project first. <laughs> Gorgeous, I love how you colored this. Wonderful, and it's not batiks. It's not batiks. This was from a um, free event we had uh, through Bits and Pieces Quilt Guild, mm -hmm. and they had a give away your stuff type <laughs> thing, and um, it was really great. It was on a Saturday during, on a rainy day, and we were under a pavilion. We all brought our stuff, and then we just started grabbing. Oh, so okay. This came that from, is nice. This came from our artist um, Candy Grisham mm -hmm. from her pile, and I can't I can't see unfinished quilts. Okay. So a lot of times I adopt them. And uh, this one was interesting. The person had uh, removed their borders. And because uh, this was not her Candy's original, it was something she was given. Okay. And um, so anyway, I wasn't going to put the borders back on. And then one night I was playing and I'm, I'm putting it back on. <laughs> wow. That's nice. And what's that yeah. to your right? Uh, so this was <laughs> my my uh, pin cushion. It's gigantic. It's uh, it is huge. What size square you start with? Because they've been making them. <laughs> right. And so I think I made these seven inches. Okay. And the reason I made the, I made a pink one mm -hmm. for, at retreat a month ago. Mm -hmm. And so uh, anyway. A friend of mine came in from out of town and gave me tools. Oh wow, that's and beautiful. So is what is that, a seam ripper a or stiletto? A stiletto to hang on my long arm. That's nice. And then she gave me um, an, an a iron press. Mm -hmm. press. And then there's a little thing here. Okay. And then she also gave me a stiletto ripper combination. Mm -hmm. And as you see, they're beautiful. So yeah. I could no longer have a pink one. I had to make a matching one. <laughs> For the tools. purples. And then purples and teals and blues. What's really cool is her husband added a gem. And so when it rolls, it oh, stops. Oh, it stops. Oh, so people and can do that easily by yes, adding a crystal. Definitely. I have broken a couple of these and, you know, been so sad. Great tip, because I sell them beautiful. in the wood, but if they roll off, your seam ripper will break. Right. And so that's a great tip. So, yeah, just a one little crystal that, mm -hmm. that he puts on them and it stops it. Stops it, it from rolling. So that is awesome. That. Well, thank you, Jane. We'll be doing more show and tell at the end, too, so we'll be talking to you later <laughs> up on the wall here we want to talk about these quilts here these are our challenge quilts and these will be talked about as well doing show and tell on Sunday so I just wanted to give you a glimpse of them in case you saw them on the wall and go what's that in the back <laughs> so I'm not gonna talk about it right now I'm gonna let the people talk about it when they do their show and tell And then this door here is what leads into the actual quilt shop. And I don't know if I'm gonna videotape in her quilt shop. I'll check that out later maybe. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and do some sewing and I will chat with you all later. Hi, it's T. It is still Friday night at retreat and we came on Thursday. <laughs> and I'm just doing a closure for tonight i normally go around and show you all stuff but i am working on my blocks i'm working on the last round of my log cabins and uh i will see you all tomorrow um maybe with other people in here to give you all an update on what has happened tonight on retreat so i have breakfast in the morning so I'm, that's why i'm just ending this video kind of sharply tonight
but I'll see you all in the next segment. We are women here in the Hi, it's T. It is 1 p.m. on Saturday, and the quilt shop is open until 3, so I thought I would just take you in and show you what the quilt shop looks like. Look who's been shopping. Yes, I am. <laughs> you can come on through, Deborah. It's okay. It's all, all in fun and games. I didn't spend that much money. I know you just bought your pattern, right? Bought two patterns? That's nice. So they got various quilts on the wall. Just gorgeous stuff. I don't think she minds taking photos, but I'm just trying to let you all know what this facility looks like. So if you want to come to a retreat here, you most definitely can. There's also more boats down. <laughs> I'm not going to try to show you all the quilts and give you all a quilt show, but I just want to show you what this facility looks like. This is also the shop's restroom. I'm not gonna go in, I'm just showing you, it's beautiful. And then here, go to the other side, is their actual classroom. And even have a refrigerator for the classroom. She has thought of everything, coffee pots, counters, just nice, I think she done a very good job of with customer service, design walls, things like that. Ironing surfaces. She was very diligent in thinking and forward thinking in that manner. And then she also sells uh, sewing machines here. She also, I think, is a Gamel user. I don't know if she's a Gamel dealer. This quilt here, I like. I would like to do this quilt. I think it's adorable. I don't know what the pattern is, so I'm going to have to ask her about that. Just gorgeous. Just beautiful shop. I'm just going to give you all an overall view. I'm not going to take you into every nook and cranny. They've got reproductions in this area. And then all of your colors, your solids are all here. Then you go into the colors all along this wall. See down there to red. <laughs> and then on this side here is your batiks here. All of these stations here are for batiks. And then over here is the grunge section. Back wall, all quilt backs. Got novelty prints here. And then in the far back are Christmas quilts. And then they've got beautiful decorations for Christmas, Halloween. So they sell all kinds of patterns, notions, and tools. Come here, you don't have to worry about, ooh, I left that at home. They probably got it here. <laughs> they got some um, cuddle, minky over there. And some muslin is here. Kits in there. They even got a 30s reproduction section as well. And then the noise you hear is the long arm machine going. Just showing you some of the stuff here. Patriotic section. Baseball is big in St. Louis and Illinois, so we got that as well. Got wool items, threads. <laughs> Hi. I'm telling them what you got. <laughs> so she's located, uh, the shop is called Itching to be Stitching, located in Staunton, Illinois. And it's also attached to the retreat center where we're retreating this weekend. So if you are in this area, want to do a retreat in this area, very nice facility, great owner, very nice. She has thought of everything you need to have a retreat here. Um, you, she doesn't provide food. You can either do your own cooking in the kitchen or you can order out. They have a book that has the local restaurants and so you can just call your orders in. Most of them do drop off so you can go to town which isn't that far and pick it up. So great retreat facility and I will see you all in my next segment later tonight just giving you a recap of where we are with projects and then also tomorrow we will be doing show and tell bye for now hi 
it's T and today is Sunday May 30th 2021 and it's the last day of our retreat it's about 1 p.m. and we're about to do show and tell and we'll probably start preparing to leave about 3 p.m. today so that's our agenda and I will see you when we start show and tell all right I'm Jane and I started with this project hey, hey. All I, all I needed to do was put the borders on, and so that was my first successful project for Friday. <laughs> and, um, and then this is called the, the spire, Rainbow Spiral Lone Star from Jan Krentz, and that was a sew along on Facebook. Okay. And I just finished mine yesterday. And this is a work in progress from uh, Quilt Works. Judy Niemeyer, it's called Coral Reef. It's their new technique of the month that came up in January. Okay. And Judy, Julie Connell is the CI at Batiks Plus, and uh, she had a Zoom class for that. I think we have four or five classes. And Batiks Plus is a store that's located in the St. Louis area. Thank you. Anyway, so this one's called, La, La, the colorway is called Lahaina, and it's, we have kits available at Batiks Plus. But we also have another one called Tropicana that's beautiful. Okay. Wow. And then she has the other portions of it laid here. She's in the process of piecing it all together. It's just gorgeous. All right. Thank you so much, Jane. Thank you. Who's next? Sharon. You need help holding yours, Sharon? Yes, please. I can help. What is a group of Sharon's called? Can Yes. Very nice. We yeah. saw previously. Yeah, it will be a border. It was for a great granddaughter, but I've never finished it until now. <laughs> so it's beautiful, and I love your your fabric. Thank you. Gorgeous. I am Sarah. Okay. Oh, you got some show and tell too. Yeah. Well, tell what you're working on first. We'll get that part. First of all, I'm working on the ch not challenge Sunday morning, Sunday morning oh, yeah. project, and of course I didn't finish. And here, here's where I am on it. So okay. I've just gotten that far. That's just very a nice. Step. Thank you. And I'm also working on. The project for the weekend. Which is the twisted log cabin. The, twi the twisted log cabin. And I only have one block completed. And I'm on a She's chain piecing. So it's going to take a little bit. And I think that's where I am, except a few others that have not been done. Okay. Then I and have now she has some short tail. Can you hold been. for her, Cynthia? Sure, I appreciate that. So they're going to be holding up some quilts if you all want to see them. You can still work, but... If you need to see, this is a wow. This was a a pattern that was in our what was that? Our retreat from Flower, from Flower Valley retreat. Virtual retreat. Virtual retreat. Mm -hmm. Right. Just um, a couple months back. Nice. And it's done. Hold the hold since they taking hold, pictures. Hold, hold. <laughs> Thank you. All righty. Look at here, and then I'll fold it up and. This is, what's this, what was this one, Tia Wilder? That's Bear Paul, that was the February this, retreat. This that was, was a, a February virtual retreat. retreat quilt. Bear Paul's, and she utilized that. all those extra pieces in the border. See that border? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but anyway. Very pretty, they're one inch finished half square triangles. That's a dumb Gorgeous. Okay. You can lay down here. Now, Tijuana have to tell me what this is. And this is as heavy as a quilt, as a quilt that's finished. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with the batting and all. Uh, this was a project that I did in the... Um, in our uh, scrap, scrap club. club. And then things keep happening the and I have never put, put the pattern out. <laughs> it wasn't scrap club. Well, it was scrap club, but I originally did it with the YouTubers. We did it in the T Quilts Facebook group as a Christmas project, yeah. but it was only free during that time. But I just need to put the actual four purchase pattern online. 
I had this quilt on my Tin Lizzy when it started out. Okay. Work. And it, I started quilting and I had to take it off. Can you imagine this big quilt? It's beautiful out, though. Taking it off and taking all the stitches out and then taking the machine. It was awesome. It's amazing so, how people's scraps all have a different yeah, coloring yeah. feel mm -hmm. to them. Yeah. Very pretty. So I'm Cynthia. And I also worked on the Sunday morning project. Um, I'm almost done. I have to just cut it out. But this is what, oh, I'm sorry. This is what, um, kind of what the finished product nice. will look like. Um, I'm also working on the um, twisted, whatever, what is this? Log, <laughs> Log cabins. And I'm done six. I have one more roll of the last six to do. She's chain pieces. And, and doing the chain piecing part of that. Mm -hmm. And I had, this was not something we worked on here, but this was the thing that I did. This was the steampunk girl mm -hmm. um, that I gave to, or not gave, but I submitted to the Hoffman Challenge, which they accepted. It didn't win anything, but it was accepted and it was up on their gallery wall. Oh, nice. Very nice. Beautiful. And that's it. Also, can you two go talk about your challenge quilts while I'm okay. back here with you guys? Sure. Okay. <clears throat> you know, let me go first. <laughs> so we also had a challenge quilt. Can you explain that since it was your yeah, project, sure. Cynthia? The challenge was to do something around time, a saying that was related to time. And I handed out... Um, a variety of different sayings to everybody. Um, they chose them anonymously, but um, they didn't have to stick to it. They could choose anything. And they had to make a quote that represented something, their phrase, and then make sure the phrase was inside of the, on, on the front of the quote. Okay. And so this was mine. And mine uh, says, time keeps on slipping into the future, which was uh, a song, which I actually don't remember who wrote it, but <laughs> it was a long while ago. Um, and this was my representation of that. Mm -hmm. so. And it won first place. Woohoo! Yeah, first place. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, and as you can see, can you see the writing there? It says within a frame, a time frame. Mm -hmm. And this is how, this is what I come up with. And I pondered on this for, I don't know, weeks trying to figure out what should I come up with. And I said, well, time in a frame, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's what we have here, time in a frame. What I'd like for you to notice, however, is the miter corners to make certain that that frame was miter. Mm. <laughs> and there, uh, I forget what you call it. What do you call it when it's cut? You have a flange. It, had a fl it has a flange. Okay. Okay. And of course, you see, I won third prize. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, 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 disturbed. so we're going to go ahead and just skip a little bit and do the challenges since they're back here on the wall. Hello, I'm Deborah, and this is my challenge quilt. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the original idea, but life got in the way, and um, mm -hmm. so it was a second choice. And I actually won a second choice ribbon. Boy, it's machine embroidery and quilted. And where are your embroideries from? The embroidery patterns are from Embroidery Library Designs. Okay. It says it's always time for tea. <laughs> Thank you. And she got second pleasure. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and I'm Jennifer, and this is my um, the saying is time is a game played beautifully by children. I had embroidered the land of lettering and wow. all the little things that the kids have playing wow. in the sand at the beach. And the little faces are time clocks with the smiley face. And Very the nice. Can you put a group time in a clocks. Window, what do you call them? Can you oh, all see that box. in the quilting? Shadow they're in a huh? shadow box. Yeah. I want them to see these faces yeah. that they're time clocks. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, uh -huh. Midnight, three, six, nine. Yeah, okay. And all in a shadow box. Right. Thank you. Very good ideas. 
there were there are six people that were supposed to participate in this um, <laughs> challenge, and Tijuana did not follow through. And I'm not going and I'm not going to throw the other one in, under the bus. We'll just let it go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Becky. Uh, I did this Sunday project, but had to. Norma was kind enough to take it back apart for me. But here's the colors for it. Okay. And I was very productive this weekend. I got four different pillowcases made. Wow. Gift for a best friend. That one's mine. And, and then that's the Coca-Cola one back there. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't see it. And then I got several rows put onto my Film at Five. Okay. And, and she had, this is a lot bigger. You all saw it bigger. This is just the other part she's working on. There's a whole nother half. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one is a two by four scrap quilt that will go to my new nephew. Oh, nice. All right, thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sharon, the other Sharon, and, <laughs> and this is part of the Spiral Lone Star, the same one that Jane made, okay. and um, I got all the diamonds part done, but I forgot to bring it. Okay. But I got this done because I'm really slow. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And I'm Jennifer again. <laughs> So, I was seemed to be the only one without a cube pin cushion, so I made one. It just needs to be stuffed. And um, thank Deborah for loaning me her fabrics. And then I made the Sunday morning pot holder. Mm -hmm. And I came to the retreat thinking I would do handwork. <laughs> I started on Friday. And these were already done. Then I went shopping. <laughs> Hold on. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to. I went shopping, bought the pattern and fabric. At the Itching to Be Stitching shop. So if you're looking for the infinity pattern, be colorful. See the information there? Call in Itching to Be Stitching in Staunton, Illinois. And then, so all day Saturday, I think. Finally got all the fabric and everything. Started and got about what, 10 points done. Mm-hmm. Very nice. And she had to read and organize and press fabric. So this is a major accomplishment for a pattern she just picked. <laughs> awesome work. 28 fabrics. 28 fabrics. And she they cut the kit here for her. Yeah. Um, so you can make this project. You can get the kit. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> she's so she's so antisocial. I'm over here. <laughs> Hello, I'm Norma. I've got a couple of things to show you. One is a little tip that I discovered I absolutely love for those used uh, needles that are broken or or have you know little spurs on them or pins that are sideways and crooked and you want to discard them. I just use my empty uh, Italian seasoning or any seasoning jar. It's got the little holes in top, mm -hmm. and then I just drop it in there. Like All that. right. I keep this by my sewing machine. So that's something that's I started a, using, and I love this idea. That's a great tip. That's better than mm -hmm. the tip you gave Deborah earlier. It is early. <laughs> <laughs> I am working on a commission um, piece, and I've laid out here, this is as far as I've gotten, of uh, Crown Royal bags. Interesting to see that most of them are purple, but there are different colors um, that I wasn't aware of. And over here is just a sample block of what I made uh, that will be the quilt itself. Okay, beautiful. <clears throat> then I was the teacher this morning for the... Um, star pot holder and um, mine's not finished but a lot of the others are so that's just an example of that the big project that i did this weekend was a wonky log cabin i did mine in patriotic fabrics it is finished it's, the top is yeah. at least you know. yes and so i'm real proud of that i really like that quote yes it's beautiful mm -hmm. and that's me thank you mm -hmm. And Deborah. <laughs> Let's see. 
Hello, I'm Deborah. I have several projects going. Um, this was a UFO I finished with sashing on the borders. Um, this was a group project from a couple of years ago, and I was working on it. I had to put the string with the cat, uh, fish on them, and I'm going to finish it at home because I'm going to make another fish when I get home. So that should be that. Um, let's see, I did a cube project before in a Zoom meeting for another guild, so this is this one. And I made a new one, which I just have to stuff, and it's got Laura Birch fabrics. Cats, Very nice. Which I like. Um, currently working on a pot holder, or hot pad, that I'm almost done with. And then I had some UFOs that I wanted to, I don't know if everybody, anybody's seen these or not. So Do you need help holding probably those? Probably because I'm short. This is a project that we, we did uh, some years ago where we had the 100 block books. Mm -hmm. And oh, we yeah. were supposed to do 100 blocks in a year, I believe, two weeks, I recall. <laughs> and I did 13, whatever, I don't remember what year it was. And then I made some more and I just put it together and sashed it for a wall hanging. So that's that project. It's pretty. I have two others, yes. All right, so you want to just break it up? They're right here. This is my bear claws block that we did in the Zoom <coughs> with Fly Rally that I did, I don't know, whatever it was a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. So I got that done. That's the top that I need to finish. It's all in petites. And my daughter like picked the black fabric for the set, set in triangles. So. And she actually likes this one, so I think she wants it. <laughs> I want to get it done. So. And this is a New York beauty case that we started a long time ago, too. So Back just in trying. 1990. Oh, I think it was. That was. Just joking. That was a uh, so so busy retreat. Yeah, retreat. And then they did it at Flower Valley, and I still don't have mine done. Okay. Anyway. I revamped some of the blocks because I didn't like the colors I picked originally and added some more blocks. So, and I just wanted a wall hanging, so this, I finished that. So I like I the setting that. too. Yeah. So. I like I like I like the outside corners where it doesn't make that circle where you were expecting it to. Uh huh. Then it hugs into the corner. I like that. Yeah, I I actually had the the corner pieces. And it looks really in. good photographed. Well, I them out. It does. I mm -hmm. them out so I thought it gave it, it more good. movement and character. Yeah, I did. Turn it this way. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, that was in Potosi. That's where I saw the blue. Long time. That was when I saw the blue. Yep, that was in the blue. You're on camera. The blue eye fell with a nice butt. You're on camera. I don't care. Okay, doesn't matter. I think that's it. All right, thank you. And then mine, I do have. Yeah. I'm gonna have Deborah. I need help holding, and I'm also gonna need help. Uh, but Deborah's gonna record. Just follow me. Just follow you. With, just, just, just don't, you. don't hit any buttons, and follow you. Stand over here. They see you all the time. All right. Hi, I'm T, and I worked on t-shirt quilts this week where I have already taken that stuff out to my car, so I'll put pictures of the t-shirt quilts up for you all to see. And here is the project that I was the coordinator of. And I do have all 36 of these blocks sold together into a quilt top. I just need to figure out what borders I want on this. I worked on the Sunday morning project. It's a mystery project, ended up being a hot pad, and I completed that. I also brought a project from my late friend Diana's stash, just trying to get rid of some of the kits that she had pre-cut. So I'm just sewing this together. And I do realize that these hearts are marching sideways. And this pattern is called Fire Escape by Atkinson Design. But it's mostly made with tone on tone type prints. So when they get busy, it can be a little bit busy. And you need to make sure you watch for directional prints when you're making this quilt top. 
And then I just want to share some projects because they've been too big for me to share with you all at home. So we'll go out this way. So this is the quilt top that I just did with laundry basket quilts. Uh, her mystery quilt where she had you do all different blocks and then I did the rainbow version instead of the all uh, blue version. That's pretty. So you're just making four inch squares, different styles of basic blocks and then she had you color them in a particular way and it made a rainbow quilt. Kind of a fractured star is what it's looking like. So you have the option of not putting a border, putting a border, so I haven't decided that yet. The next thing I wanted to share is the Exploding Heart Quilt. Made it with my four inch cube. And then I put, it is huge, it's 104 oh inches, I think. Oh, that's pretty. And um, that's beautiful. It, um, I added the piece border, but everything was done with the, four, the eight inch Acu Quilt Cube. That's beautiful. System. Let me see. And I wanted a Valentine's quilt. I had a heart quilt, but then it was hand applique, and I don't want to put it on my bed, so wow. I decided to make this big. Wow. Are those four inch squares? Uh huh, four inch squares. Very nice. So, yes. It's beautiful. We can just toss this to the side. <laughs> and then the last quilt I want to share is we did a block swap with the T quilters, and we did the Ablum. The Evening Star, and I called it Evening Star Album Block because we signed them and I put it together. So this is the yeah, top, top down here. It's so big. <laughs> I had um, 36 blocks and only 32 would fit in the quilt, so I ended up putting, I had 34. 30. This was a swap. Yeah, it was a swap. Mm -hmm. this, this year's swap. Okay. Yeah, it was this year's swap. And so they sent in, um, wow. the people sent in 24. Okay. And so then I sent them back 24, but we had 32 or 36 people participate. And so we made, Kevin and I made a block for everybody. And then I put mine into this setting. And then I put mines in the border because I couldn't yeah. get hers, and then I put another girl's in the border. So I kind of did rainbow oh, okay. or grouping colors together. And then I made the top one my title, and then this one down here is gonna be my label. <laughs> so that concludes the retreat yeah. video. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate you um, being here with us. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer any questions you have about the patterns we're using and so forth. Also, most of them have said what patterns they're using, so hopefully everything was clear when they were communicating. So I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.